Welcome to the 1099 ETC program. This tutorial covers the direct deposit setup using the ACH electronic deposit method in AMS Payroll. The ACH method creates the file in the payers directory that contains the direct deposit information. It is the user's responsibility to have a bank process the file so that the funds can be distributed. To begin, the payer ABC Payroll has been created, and the payer's data has been entered and verified. Let's describe the ACH setup. First an account must be set up with a bank that can process the ACH file that our program creates. The ACH file is created in a standard NATRA format. Next, enter the banking information for the payer. Set up the employee's banking information. Send a pre-notification file for all employees. This verifies all banking information to make sure all information is valid prior to the first direct deposit. Once the pre-notification is completed, you are ready to submit your first direct deposit ACH file. Let's begin with the payer setup. On the main menu select AMS Payroll. Highlight the payer and click OK. Select Payer. Select Payer Edit. Select the Check, Maker tab. For direct deposit, in the Maker Information line, enter the routing number. And then click the Edit button beside the account line. All other information on this screen is optional for direct deposit. And then click the Edit button beside the account line. Enter in the account information. The nickname will be displayed when selecting the account number in other areas of the program. It should be easy to identify for the associated account number. The account number is entered twice to verify that it is entered correctly. Click OK. Again, you only need to enter the, the routing number and the bank account number for direct deposit. All other information is used for different check functions in the payroll. Click OK. Now, let's finish the payer setup. Click Options. Select Electronic Deposits. Select ACH. Select Setup Payer for ACH. Click OK. The banking information that was previously entered will automatically fill those fields on this screen. The effective date is the date the funds are to be dispersed. The second section is based on your bank's specific criteria. If there is no specific criteria, do not edit the section. The next section will automatically fill in the data that was entered on the payer's check slash maker screen. The deposit notice prints on the employee's bank statement. The immediate origin and immediate destination will automatically fill in the payer's routing number. Do not change unless your bank indicates that a different number needs to be used. Only check, use payer name as origin, if instructed by your bank to do so. Click OK. Next the employee's banking information needs to be set up for all employees that participate in direct deposit. Click Cancel. Click Input. A list of employees that have been set up will display. Highlight an employee and click Edit. Click Optional Information. Click Enable to have access to the Electronic Net Pay section. Click OK. Enter the bank account number. Enter the bank's routing number. It will be 9 digits. To select the account type, click the drop down arrow. Select Checking. Check Pre Notify to verify the employee's banking information. This should be done for all employees at least 10 days prior to the first direct deposit, or if an employee's banking information changes. If there is only one bank account, it should be entered on the first line, and the total net pay will be deposited into that account. If there are multiple accounts, enter the information, and in the last column, enter a dollar amount, or a percentage that will go into the second account. 
The remaining net pay will be deposited into the first account. Click OK. Repeat for all employees that are participating in direct deposit. When finished, click Quit. The payer and the employee setup for ASCH direct deposit is complete. For further questions, please review the frequently asked questions on our website. Or please refer to the help files for additional information. Technical support can be reached by email, fax or phone. Thank you for using the 1099 Etc. program. Have a great day.